Hello, shalom and marhaba. I'm Robbie Berman, your Israeli tour guide, and let me share with you a few secrets about old Tel Aviv. Mayor Dizengoff was one of the founders of Tel Aviv and the first mayor of Tel Aviv, but who was Mayor Dizengoff really? Mayor Dizengoff was born in 1861 in Eastern Europe in a place what is now called Moldova. And although his father was a Sadi Gora Hasid, in 1882, Mayer entered the imperialist Russian army, where he served for a few years. After he left the army, he joined Narodnaya Volya, a terrorist organization that killed government officials in an attempt to overthrow the Tsarist regime. That's right, Mayor Dizengoff was a member of a terrorist organization. He was arrested in 1885 and he spent eight months in prison, not for killing anyone, but for running the underground printing press for the terrorist organization. He left Narodnaya Volya pretty soon afterwards because it became highly anti-Semitic. And Dizengoff felt, probably justifiably, that uh, an anti-Semitic terrorist organization was not a good place for a nice Jewish boy. <laughs> I really I like that line very much. I, I wrote it. In 1888, while studying chemical engineering at the Sorbonne in Paris, Dizengoff met a representative of the wealthy Rothschild family. Dizengoff, a Zionist, was a big fan of Theodor Herzl, but he was not happy with his Uganda plan that Herzl promoted at the Sixth Zionist Congress. In response to that plan, Dizengoff established in 1904 the Geula Company to purchase land in Palestine and establish Jewish communities. In 1905, Dizengoff and his wife Sina returned to live in Palestine where they began to sell automobiles and machinery. In 1909, they were one of the original 66 families that founded Tel Aviv, then called Ahuzad Bayit, which was originally only a residential suburb of Jaffa. Dizengoff served as mayor of Tel Aviv for three years, from 1922 to 1925, and again for eight years, from 28 to 36. How incredible is it that a man whose name is mayor becomes the mayor? If that is not proof of God, I don't know what is. During World War I, the Ottoman military governor, Jamal Pasha, expelled 10,000 Jews from Tel Aviv to the Galilee, where they suffered from starvation and privation. Dizengoff sent them aid to the best of his ability, and as a result, they called him by the honorary Jewish title, Reish Galuta, the head of the exile. After the Arab riots of 1921, where the Jews of Jaffa suffered greatly and were killed, Dizengoff requested from the British mandatory government to recognize Tel Aviv as a separate municipality apart from Jaffa. In the early 1920s, he successfully enticed several cultural icons to live in Tel Aviv, like the writer Achad Am, the poet Chaim Nachman Bialik, and the artist Ruven Rubin. I think you're getting the idea that Dizengoff was a real mover and shaker. He helped establish the Levant Fair, Yarid HaMizrach, and he pushed for the rapid expansion of Tel Aviv. Every year he headed the annual Purim Carnival Parade, riding his mare through the streets of Tel Aviv. A mare is a female horse. Sina died in 1930 and Kikar Dizengoff was named after her in 1934. Since she was a lover of art and they had no children, Dizengoff left his house in his will to the Tel Aviv municipality and they used it as an art museum. In 1936, with the outbreak of the Arab Revolt, the Jaffa port was shut down with a general strike. Mayor Dizengoff pushed the British administration to give him permission to open up a port in his city of Tel Aviv. On the opening day of the first pier, Dizengoff gave a ceremonial speech which he began with the words, ladies and gentlemen, I remember the days when Tel Aviv had no port. Dizengoff died in 1936 at age 75 from a complication of illnesses and was buried in the Trumpeldor Cemetery in Tel Aviv. Both Gan Meir, otherwise known as Mayor Park, and Dizengoff Street are named after him. And in gratitude to his contribution to the development of Tel Aviv, the municipality erected this statue in his honor showing the mayor of Tel Aviv, whose first name is Mayor, riding his mare. 
Try saying that three times fast. This is Robbie Berman, your Israeli tour guide, sharing with you a few secrets about the first mayor of Tel Aviv.